Sorry, Sev. So there's a giraffe. It looks like a female and her young one. There's a little baby in the background there as well. So this is the female. She's got actually quite thick... No, sorry, there's a male that is here. But where's the female then? Because I don't see her. There's definitely a baby around. Maybe I've just driven past her or she's in the distance. But that's a young male. And there's the little baby in the background. Hello, little one. Two of you, actually. Now, those are both probably... The one on the right, I would say, is maybe two, three years old, and the one on the left, about a year old. So we were talking about leopards hunting giraffe. You can see that one on the left is about the size of the one that Tingana once killed. So it just gives you an idea of just how big a prey item these guys can go after, these big male leopards. It's pretty crazy. But I love watching giraffe feed. Look at how it uses that long tongue. There we go. It sticks the long tongue out and grabs the foliage off these trees. But really interesting composition because you've got these young ones. Oh, there the rest are. The females are all in the background. They're actually starting to come out now. And they're heading sort of down towards the road where that young male is walking. There's a couple of females right in the background through those thickets. So there you go. There's the mothers for those little ones. Really nice to see. I haven't seen giraffe in so long. It's always a pleasure when we get these giraffe kind of walking through the sunrise. There's something about a silhouetted giraffe in Africa that really kind of is that quintessential picture that everybody thinks of. Jean, you say such beautiful creatures. Well, they are. They're the most odd things because they're incredibly elegant and... and oh, I like that. I said with the nice sort of sunset silhouette but they're such elegant creatures they're awkward but elegant and so placid and calm i really do enjoy when giraffe are around and like i say especially in the morning when they kind of silhouetted against the light it's a beautiful sort of picture and you can see they're looking for food it's underneath a big knob thorn at the moment so i'm sure it's trying to find some sort of flowers there's a few knob thorns that still have residual flowers on them and so it's really what they're looking for but most of it's been already been eaten by either the ellies or the giraffes that they can reach and there you go looking right through the sunset sunrise sorry thanks Seb. <laughs> it's early Seb, and we've had car troubles <laughs> let me go forward a bit so we can try and just catch up with these guys oh look at him stretching that's so cool I always like spending time with these giraffe when it's like this. Now, Seb, I know you, we went silhouette shots, but there's so many branches in the way. I'm going to just try and get into that position there. And there we go. It's much easier now to actually see them. There's no branches in the way at all. And it's incredible to see how high they can feed. And Eric, you're wondering how old giraffes can get. Well, here in the wild, very seldom will we see giraffes go over sort of 18, 19 years. Most of them, unfortunately, get killed when they get much older. They start to get sort of problems with their legs and there's often slows them down and high tick loads and all kinds of things that happen. Then the predators take advantage. But they can get into their mid-20s in captivity. But here in, in the wild, very seldom will they go over 20 years old. You are very elegant. <laughs> 